How you doing? My name's Dan, and I want to share with you a project I've decided to build. Um, it's a dory, a 30-foot dory. The plans are from uh, Jeff Spira International. And the way I stumbled over these plans was I was watching YouTube. And I just couldn't find anything I was interested in. Oh, most of it was pretty technical, costly, and um, I want to build it here at home. And since winter's setting in here, now in September, it's getting cold, I ain't working outside. And I figure by the end of August, nope, sorry, October, snow's going to set in. So I'm done until March, late March. So I've decided to build the framework in the house. Um, I'll be showing you parts and pieces, pieces as I go. Um, I'll explain what type of wood I'm using, what I decided to use. Um... I'm also going to talk about things that some people, or most people, really don't talk about of the videos that I have watched. They talk about the construction of the boat, which is fine, it's fantastic, but they don't talk about price. Like, I'm always curious, hey, what are you guys paying for lumber down there? How much lumber did it take you to build your boat? What does glass cost? Resins? Share the information. I'm not afraid to let you know what I'm putting out as far as cost is concerned. And um, I think most people do do want to know. I think people are curious. And um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to warn you now that this is my very first video. Um, I've never done this before. So forgive me if I'm not perfect. Um... I'll try my best. Now, from what I understand, if you film something and you don't edit it, it's called rough cut. That's what you're going to be getting. You're going to get exactly what I'm taping here, what I'm videotaping on my phone of all things. Okay. So um, I'm going to try my best to uh, cover the procedure. There will be long spaces in between. Um, I'm doing this I got a small budget and I can once a month go out and buy product. So what I'm starting with now is I'm starting with two by fours. And um, I bought five to start with. I bought a box of screws. Um, I have other things to purchase also. The plywood, I will also start purchasing perhaps next week. Or the end of next month so that's the way I'm going about it so instead of saying I can't do it or I wish I could I'm doing it and I am doing it monthly I am hoping to have the frames done in the next couple of weeks uh, my plan to ask for I believe it's 275 lineal feet of 2 by 4 and um, I'm buying 12 footers and they're costing me $18.50 a piece. Yes, I'm building it out of cedar. You don't have to. I've just chosen to. I'm going to take all this time and I'm going to spend all this money. I want to make sure just in case I spring a leak and the water is um, exposed to the wood. I just don't want it to rot out on me. So the cedar is tougher. It's uh, more resilient to water. So. I'm, you know, it's costing me an extra $7 a length of 2 by 4 by 12. So, I'm going to bite it and I'm going to do it. I'm, uh, okay, so I'm building the frame out of cedar. Um, I'll be buying it 5, 10 lengths at a time. Because uh, it, that's my, that's pretty well, I'm getting the best price at 12 feet. I can also put it in my truck to transport it um home so that's where i'm headed now today i did pick up some materials uh, i picked up five two by fours and um my first practice run of the first is right here i'll show it to you there okay there it is Yeah, and I did. I did miscut the. Uh, I didn't get the height right when I laid out my drawing. Sorry about the wiggling. 
shaky hands, I guess. Um, I drew it out. I got the I got the dimensions right, but I blew it on the height. So when I went to measure it after I had screwed it together, uh, of course the measurements was out. I couldn't figure out what was wrong until I realized that when I looked back at the drawing, I had the height wrong. So that sets up your angles are all wrong. My lumber was too short. So I took it apart. And don't worry, I used the lumber. I started my number 15 piece, which is in the nose. I took it apart and I used that on number 7. So I went into the plan sheets here and I turned around and I looked for the closest size so I wouldn't waste the parts that I had cut originally for number 15. And I used them. So my wastage was about 8 inches of cedar, 2 by 4 That was it. So I got number 7 done. And I've got number 15 done. And my wastage, I think, is probably uh, about... 14 inches and who knows I might be able to use those small pieces somewhere else. We'll, we'll see what happens I'm doing my best not to waste the material now at the same time 12 foot lengths Is actually allowing me To build my frames With the least amount of wastage and it seems to be working so far But the big thing of course is you gotta you know measure twice cut once and like I said, I've just started this, and uh, so far it, it's pretty good. My seven, the beam on my seven frame is 97 inches wide at the top. That's how wide the boat is. That's the widest frame. So from here on in, they get a little smaller. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, I've always wanted a boat. Um, I almost bought one before I left Ontario, before I moved out west, and that never developed. We don't have a lot of lakes out in Alberta. Ontario, tons. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, you know, I do model airplanes, I do motorcycles. Um, I've always wanted to do a boat, so here I am. Uh, the plans were reasonably priced. Jeff has uh, reasonably priced plans. The simplicity is just out of this world. Um, it's like putting Lego together, really. Um, you just got to justify the cost depending on how, what your budget is and how, how big your boat. So so this one right now is the second largest one at 30 feet. At 8, eight feet, 4 and a half inches is the total width of the beam. So it's it's fairly large. And then, of course, they, they get smaller from there on in. So... I, my big thing was space. Um, after I got in, after the outboard's in, and after I get the family in, we took a small boat out a couple of weeks ago, and it was a 14-footer. And we can only go out two at a time. Everybody else stayed back at the picnic area at the boat launch. And I thought about that after, and I didn't like it. Um, I wanted to get my wife out there, the two grandchildren, my daughter, my, my, my son, a couple of friends. So I figured this 30-footer is going to allow me to do that. Uh, and nobody has to stay behind. That That is my predicament, and uh, I'm dealing with it. That's what I've chosen to do. The material I'm also going to be using, providing I can still get it at the same price I got this thing here. I'll tilt the camera down here. That's three-quarter inch birch. It's smooth on both sides. Really nice stuff. $45 a sheet Canadian. Not bad. Everybody's telling me I should have paid a heck of a lot more than that for it. So, uh, hopefully I can get more at that price. If not, I may have to change the grade of wood I'm using. Um, other than that, I think for now that's about it. Um, these videos are going to be short. Um, because of the fact that I am building everything By the piece by the section um i believe by march i'll definitely have all the frames done i should have all the 14 sheets of three quarter inch birch four by eight feet purchased at the cost as i said 45 dollars a sheet and my box of screws cost me 60 dollars canadian just 2,000 screws 
and I got something they call, um, uh, what do they call that? They're, they're coated screws, you know, like the brown coated, um, ceramic, ceramic coated screws. Now, I may have not needed to get them, but for the cost difference against for per box, wasn't a lot of money. So I have worked, I used to build decks and things like that, and um, I've seen the gold screws rot. So, um, yeah, I got the ceramic coated brown ones, eight by two and a half. Now I'm told, or should I say, uh, Jeff has said that the way the construction is designed for this, you can actually use the screws to fasten the, your pieces together, and you're using premium, PL premium type glue in the joint, and he said you can actually take the screws out, and the structure will hold. So that's kind of impressive, considering how large it is and how heavy these parts are. But I will be keeping my screws in. Um, yeah, so... Today is the 25th. I think I'm going to call it quits for now. I'm going to perhaps sit down here and prep my next frame. See how I feel. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening. I've had a funny day, so, you know, I don't want to push it. i got lots of time. You don't want to build this fatigue. Don't fatigue yourself. There is no reason to um, build this and get yourself exhausted trying to get it done. Take your time. Enjoy the build. Uh, I mean, that's that's the best best advice I can give you. Um, I've done projects. I, like I said, I build mo uh, RC, large RC models, and uh, you can't rush them. You know, if it takes you a year or two years to build, so be it. At least when it's done, you can enjoy it. Anyway, that's all I have for you right now. That's all I have to share with you. Um, it's going to be a while before I can post this on YouTube. So, uh, like I said, you'll be getting rough a rough cut of what I'm doing. Um, I'll try my best to keep to the point and not to babble on too very much. And believe me, it's easy to do. And um, I'll keep you informed for sure. And um, I may have to ask for patronage uh, to help out with the project for those of you that may be interested and or like and push that button as we all, we all say, right? So thank you very much and we'll see you on the other side.